Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show with me, your host Sean. If you've enjoyed any of uh, this today's entertainment, don't forget to smash that lovely like button. So it really does help with the YouTube algorithm and it helps getting the video out to more people. If you haven't subscribed already, then please smash that subscribe button. And if you want to be a hero, hit that bell notification. You'll be notified when a new video comes out. If you want to support the channel, there's links down below to free trading apps. There's also links to uh, uh, my Amazon affiliate link, which will uh, where I've been asked what kit and what financial books I use. If reason this Amazon is for the books is if you have an older bill account don't have to pay but it also means I don't get any commission on with the show so today we're starting with ETFs and I was asked the reason we're starting we're having ETFs is I was asked what gold and what what gold stocks and what healthcare stocks I'm interested in well I've done healthcare stocks already, and I've given my video on the healthcare stocks. I don't want to keep. I don't think it's fair to keep going over and over. So, problem with gold stocks is they're heavily overpriced at the moment. I have looked into gold stocks. They are all overpriced, in my opinion. So. I'm going to look into ETCs and ETFs. And with healthcare providers, I'm going to look into ETFs. I've found the ones that I like. Of course, you don't have to agree with me. Not everyone does, not even my wife. Now, we're going to start. So. Let's see the XGLS it's more expensive of the two ETCs which because the management fee is 0.69% but again you won't get an ETC as cheap as you're getting it now it's, the price has risen with the gold but in comparison, when you compare the price of gold to the price of ETC, you will see how it's, it's comparable. Now, if this one is my favourite. It's the iShares Physical Gold. And this because even though they're again Yahoo Finance mucking up, you have the ETC price war. What this doesn't tell you is that they have reduced their management fee from 0.25% to 0.19%. Because all the ETCs are having a price war and they have uh, reduced their management fee to win over more business. Now, the fit, some people prefer this because it's a hedged ETC, which means it hedges against fluctuations in the dollar to the pound. Because although the cost is in the pound, the value is in the dollar. And if the dollar suddenly fluctuates, and you can lose money because of the currency, and it protects you against that. But remember, you're paying 0.5% more for that. If you don't care about that, then this is the one for you. And we can actually. Sorry about this. 
we can move on to we'll come back to that in a minute but for now we'll move on to the healthcare one and this is my favorite one which is WHEA and I'll show you why because I checked a few of them now I had a couple of healthcare ones but This is the medical companies, the list of medical companies on uh, the first fund, which is take a symbol ZPDH. Then we go to ticker symbol WHEA. Look how many companies there are on there. Is there is a hundred and forty two companies. Now it has fifty companies more. Than the other one and you may say oh but they're all small companies you, know, you see at the bottom you've got aurora cannabis and canopy growth oh they're all small companies so i'm not interested in them but remember the small companies are the ones that grow and can make you and can make more money and increase the value smith and nephew you know glaxo smith klein isn't a small company and that's in this one and not in the other one you know <laughs> You've got to remember, in the other one, you have like 10, 15 main companies, and the rest of them are small companies. This one, you've got all the main companies, and you've got a lot of small companies. You know, so, to tell the truth, there's one or two small companies I would like to have seen in there, uh, that I've recommended over the past, that aren't in there, but... You know, 148 companies. It's not bad going. And I did a net asset value, and it's cheaper than net asset value. And what is it? And I checked, and it, I even checked with the net asset value on here. And the net asset value is over forty-four dollars, and let's see. It should, yeah, there you are. Net asset value forty-four dollars sixteen. So you're getting it below the net asset value, and I know a lot of companies are nowadays, but an ETF below the net asset value. Come on. All the pharmaceutical companies are really riding high at the moment. And I mean even Aurora Cannabis is riding high. But you need to if if you don't agree with anything I say, that's, that's fine, but no, there's Arena Pharmaceutical. Look, I recommended that the other day, and it's been shooting up since then. You know, it, turn, it turns out that it's uh, someone reckons they're going to go be admitted to the Russell. I hope so. No. This is black Clovis, which I recommended a couple a few weeks back. High forecast for Clovis Oncology, thirty-two dollars. Well, the lowest five dollars. At the moment, it's seven dollars thirty-two. So you have to ask yourself: Do you wanna? 
do you want to go for it? Gamble on that? Or do you, are you not the type of person who gambles? Look into the video and check on it. See, there's, I've heard some. there's quite a few short sellers keeping it below 8 for, until they want to raise the price and make money on off of it. But I'm not sure about that. Anyway, on with... On with today's video. Now, See what they say about this. I haven't checked this out beforehand, but no. Hello, look at that seven billion ounces. You have to realize that when a, whenever there's a recession, gold goes up. But gold doesn't return any value. It's like an inflation protection. But what tends to happen is after inflation, uh, sorry, after a recession, it tends to go down a bit. And then it starts an upward trend again. So, uh, if you look back for the last 10, 20, 30 years, even 50 years, gold has gone on a steady incline. It hasn't gone as big an incline as like S&P 500 or the Dow, but the Nasdaq but it if you're looking to uh, protect yourself against inflation or the collapse of the dollar or the pound or recession proof your portfolio I think putting five percent in into an ETC would be wise but what do I know I'm just some idiot on the internet. Anyway, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Any comments, if whether you agree or disagree with me, uh, please leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video.